What is up, guys? And YKF31 here, Madden 17. This is a much season game, and you see here, still tickling around trying to find that magic mix for this Panthers and Cam Newton power spread. And what I'm also doing here is challenging myself with single high or base single high user deep safety play. This is the time of year. The leaderboards are dead. The only people who are grinding away, playing serious, are those who are keeping themselves um, sharp for the um, Madden Challenge this week, or are participating in the EA Sanction tournaments because they need tangent series points to qualify for the um, Madden Championship. But other than that, the only thing to really play for is just for your own improvement and to try stuff. Why not see what works or what you can get to work? So, you know, here I am on defense. And in order to play this, you need to have track stars on the outside. I got Deion Sanders on one side here. I'm on Swerve Patrol there. And I get the INT. <coughs> and I have the um, Mel Blunt, the Super Bowl pass, the Mel Blunt. So you have Dion speed on one side, and that Mel Blunt is fast enough, he's 93. Ideally, I'd want to have 94, 95 out there, but I can live with that because um, the fact of the matter is you don't have a press bail or a, um, or a soft shuffle or soft shoe type of technique in order to force the corner to, not force the corner, but force a receiver to have to go wide of you to get down the sideline so it's a straight track meet out there and I gotta be honest it's it's kind of scary playing that deep and with all of that space the reason why playing a user linebacker is much more valued is because one the uh, consequences of a mistake are a lot less and two as we see with user backers you can cover multiple route depths with one player Uber user deep safety, not so much. What you cannot do is what I did there, is be tempted by that square in. It looks so enticing, but you gotta stay disciplined. And those are the rewards that can happen if you do. Once I saw the um, tight end on a, for a free release, I knew I had my um, three receiver hook robber coming in the middle, I pretty much thought, okay, this has to be a tight end corner, and booked and made the play. So really what you got to do, you, you got to leave the underneath stuff alone and make adjustments to take it away when you got to take it away when the ball is um, inside the 30 or inside the red zone. Or if you're in a YOLO moment and you absolutely have to take a chance at some point in the game. And that's, and that's going to be hard because what some of these match defenders do underneath will drive you insane. But you got to just take it, force them to throw it short. You absolutely cannot allow anything to threaten you down the seam, which is an easier said than done because, you know, guys who are good will dial up a million hot routes to put your deep corner and you in a bind because of the way that the deep corner will drift and leave you covering two people. That's when you also have to hope that your pass rush helps you out. So it can be stressful. But right now I'm up 3 nothing. It's the third quarter. I threw an INT there. I, I get... I do like to attack the, the uh, intermediate and deep sideline, but sometimes I get too sideline happy. And I threw an INT there as a result. And here's what I need to do more of, I think. Pistol triple option. I get the... Um, Keep read, and I pitch to Fedorowicz, and no one is out there. Here's a speed option. That should have worked better, but I'll take it. Just try to punch this bad boy in. Good throw here by Cam. Lead it, and we rack it, and we get a 10 nothing lead as a result to Nickel Leary. So, 10 to Zilch. I didn't really make too many mistakes. We camped out on Weddle here. We're in that press look. He's going to try to run. I gave up a couple of rips to Latavius Murray earlier, but since then we've been okay. Here we're in cloud. Oh. 
pick there would have been nice. Third and short. Not third and short. Fourth and short. We're going to stay in the same thing. We're going to spy and end. Again, discipline. I'm going to, if he throws to the left, he does, but I got to hate that steamer. And Weddle comes off and makes the play. Play action. We're going to go for the killer shot here. We're going to throw the bootleg bat shoulder to Alshon Jeffrey. We're up 17 to nothing, so... 17-0 with 316 left. We're in good shape. I'm going to hot rod a backer deep to kind of help me out here. We're on Swerve Patrol. Julio actually comes down with it, but out of bounds. Julio's been pretty much shut out this game. Quarters coverage. Of course, it gets completed. Thanks for nothing. That irritated me, so now we're going to gas him up, get in the sack. Second of 18 now. He's getting a little bit too comfortable. This is probably going to be high sale again. We're in cover four press. Yeah, that's sale again. And for whatever reason, Camardi can't expand with him out of his um, seam flat zone. So we're back in cover three. Don't cheat, don't cheat, don't cheat. Now break. But I don't get there. How did I not get there? Gonna mix in man one now, man one press. I see the Y sale, but I saw that Dion was in trouble there, so I can see that corner to, you know, prevent the touchdown. I'm gonna be in cover one here from two deep shell, but when I have the um, end in a flat zone, and I camp out in the middle, and he throws the post right to me. That you will not see your CPU uh, single high safety do. He won't make that play in five lifetimes. But I did, so I give myself a little pat on the back for that. And we're just going to run the clock out here. And save her an actual shutout. Those are pretty rare. Rare to go four quarters without having something um, screwy happen, like a swerve or a defender working out in deep zone coverage and getting lost or just having bizarre happen to you. But, you know. We managed to avoid that and get a W. So, how are you guys getting yourselves engaged and challenged now? Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you all later. Peace.